Tonight is New Year's Eve. This time, it is not only the turnover of a new year, but also a new decade, and the end of the first decade of a new millennium. Now, I remember when the decade and millennium were new. So tonight, time has been kind of on my mind. But, I was thinking, what is time? Hey, cat. Meow. You want to help me vlog? Yeah. But, uh, as I was saying, time. It's tempting to describe the relationship between the past and the present and the future and point at that and say that that is time. Just a sec. Well, maybe not just a sec. That's my coffee maker. If I, well, maybe you can't hear it at all, but my coffee maker just made this horrendous noise. And now... The coffee's done. I, too, like it when the coffee is done. Hello, you. What am I going to do with you? It is tempting to describe the relationship between the past, the present, and the future, and point at that, and say that that is time, and that it's pretty straightforward. But really, that's just a treatise on the main ways in which we uh, measure the passion, the patching, not the passion, the patching of time. Wait a minute. That didn't make any sense. I think I'm going to have more coffee. Anyway, that is only just the main ways in which we can measure the passing. And that's not really an explanation at all. Um, but when trying to come up with an explanation that is not just constituent of ways in which we already describe this greater concept of time, it's not hard to come to a loss for words because it's not really something that is easily defined. I mean, it's just like another force bigger than ourselves that we are nonetheless subject to the effects of. And one of the more uh, obvious ways in which we can mark the passing of time is through the cycle of decay. And to us, actually, when I say us, I mean not only me and my cat, but everyone, and all, indeed nearly all uh, living, all, all living creatures, except one jellyfish. And I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll put that link. Um, here. Um, but the cycle of decay to us means aging and eventual and inevitable death. And that, when you really stop and think about it, when you really try and absorb the whole of mortality and death and stuff. It's a big one. It's a really big one. Just think. 
one day, we won't exist. Neither one of us. And personally, I like existing. I really like existing. I uh, am not ready to stop experiencing things, and I don't think I ever will be. So that begs the question, given the finite supply of time and infinite value of a chance to live a life, what goes into living a good life, or a good full life, or however you want to define a preferential sort of quality of life? And whether or not you share it, I encourage you, Internet, to just think about that. And above all, that thing, that dream that's locked up in there, I figure out a way to do it before time slips away.